Deepa, you want to talk? Namaste, Raji. Namaste. Uh, Raji, I just want to understand <coughs> is breaking free from patterns or cycles of life leads us to somewhere like or it's like, you know, hawa mein you are just, you know, teer chala rahe ho. Yes, yes. Actually, <coughs> sorry. Not only hawa mein teer chala rahe ho, not only you are, maybe you are, you know, shooting in the, in the, onto air or like this. And we may come to air also sometime by breaking patterns. If we are not certain where we are reaching. No? Because pattern in itself is not a good or bad thing. Pattern is like a circle, no? Now, if we wake up more as the being and the circle becomes smaller for us, so like, we, like we have grown, you have outgrown your cloth in a way, no? Then the, the obviously the pattern will become smaller, that you want a, something bigger than this. No? Now breaking out of this pattern and becoming like a ghost to be trapped by another pattern randomly is not a good idea, I feel being more conscious that, okay, what it is, you know. Uh, I feel the best option is to to let our own existence make it grow in a way, make it grow or let it be transformed in the most uh, appropriate uh, existential manner, no? Because one thing very amazing about, like you can say human life is that limitation in which we live, the being, when we are living as a human being, no? And the more we come to the being that we are and live our truth, the more we feel the limitation of the human, no? human aspect. No? And we randomly try to break out of it in a way. And that may not be really a best idea in this context where we are, in the context of awakening. The best idea for me would be to live as ourself, like one thing, like a activity, living ourself, living our truth. Then living the human aspect as ourself also. And it, it, it promotes that existential growth and transformation of the same pattern into a bigger pattern or how to say more uh, neutral uh, pattern which is facil going to facilitate us in living as ourselves while living in the human life rather than limiting us. Right now it is limiting us, in a way, like reminding us of, of being a person or being personal emotionally and things like this, maybe. No? So this is wha what I feel. No? Otherwise, we will become free from one trap, which we, we are aware of right now, like we know what is the trap and what is the ins and out of it. <laughs> now we will be trapped into something new, which we are not aware of. It may take long time for us to understand where is the door, out of it, maybe, no? But what I have understood is that everything happens in duality. So it's like if a new pattern comes in, uh, then, you know, you can see the next time the same pattern coming in. And if you can just, you know, cut it through, then you break free. But yes, you were right in saying that, you know, you get indulged in bigger and bigger patterns. Um, actually, we think that uh, mm, I will get trapped in the patterns, other people's patterns. You know, we feel like the pattern basically, when we feel bad, means I will get trapped in other people's patterns. And that fear mainly is, we think that just because other people's patterns are not nice. In one sense, maybe you are right. But that's where we are talking about living as a human only, not as human being. Because once we start coming to the being, we find that I am myself living in patterns. What to say of other people's patterns? Let me be free from my patterns first. And once we are free from our patterns, not free in the sense of breaking them, but in the sense of recognizing them, that they are energetic flow, like circuits within. And they should not be more than that. They should not dictate what I will do today. Rather, I should decide what I will do today and then they should be in service to that. They should be used, employed by that decision. No? Right now those patterns are deciding which patterns are not nice and which patterns are nice. No? 
so those who wake up little more they don't really bother about these things so much meaning not at first they more care about being absolutely free into ourselves and then caring okay let's see because basically life exists in coexistence you no know? in 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 the in the duality you no know? life exists in coexistence only so we cannot have really very exclusive patterns everything that we have is somehow shared in one way or the other no so it is any way being shared and then when you sit as your being your wisdom is awake you can find out what you like or what you don't and you can decide now no you are really free that time no? and you will laugh actually that it's not really my pattern and your pattern they are just patterns for the being they are just patterns not mine and yours my is a pattern not that my pattern is is a thing no that is that is the extension of my pattern you know my is a pattern then there is a extension of the, that pattern that my pattern if you understand what i mean a a a certain way of thinking is a pattern in the being no and within that uh, certain way of thinking we are thinking about certain way of thinking also no do you see my point so that that's how we are going deeper and deeper in patterns and returning out of those patterns is getting out of mind into our purity of being and wisdom so that we can actually see things as they are what is what seeing patterns from another from the eyes of a pattern is not a good idea that's okay that's hu- being human not not something bad but we have higher possibilities within ourselves that's what we are exploring and living right now no? so i think this is good good thank you thank you dancing